All right, welcome back party people. We're gonna try to do some wheelie progression on the trials motorcycle. This is one of the things I've really not mastered on this electric trials motorcycle yet because I just haven't ridden it a lot. And so I need to open up a bunch of other trial skills and learning to actually balance wheelie on this trials bike is gonna be the very first step. This motorcycle has proven probably to be one of the hardest ones I've have, had to learn to try to wheelie so far because of how touchy the throttle and the controller is where the rear brake's located. So everything is totally opposite of what you're used to, but I figure I might as well go ahead and conquer this now. So we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna share the progression, and as I'm going through it, I'll tell you what I find works and what's helped me and what might help you as well. So let's get to it. All right, keep in mind that I started this skills journey around the Christmas break. So I've already had a week's worth of practice in, and by a week, I mean probably roughly about three and a half hours of practice during that week. It was super wet, so I didn't get a, a practice a lot. I was practicing a few times here on the concrete, but I, my confidence wasn't exactly the highest because I had previously been practicing in my backyard in the grass and that's way more forgiving so i tried to use the rock road that runs adjacent to it and i just couldn't get much traction there so i made the decision to move back to the concrete to practice because it was much easier for me to focus on getting my balance and actually bringing the front wheel up so um, you're going to have to kind of weigh that in your mind as well and figure out if you are willing to take that risk or not so i ended up moving back to the concrete and uh, continued to practice from here all right, so again, just kind of repeatedly uh, pressing down on the front forks and throwing my weight back, not pulling up on the bars, and just continually practicing that over and over again. And about right along here, I got uh, somewhat of a breakthrough. I thought in my mind, at least it was a win for me. As you can tell, I start to notice my uh, knees, they start to move out and start to uh, counter my balance which is a good thing and that is something that didn't happen in week one I was actually more concentrated on making sure I feather the rear brake and making sure I had good throttle control so now there was a, a piece of the, the training it seemed like I had developed over that first week that I could leverage on the second week here and that was pretty exciting so it got my confidence up quite a bit the other thing don't get discouraged because you're gonna have a lot of this type of stuff when you uh, pressing down and then you just throw your balance off one way or the other or perhaps maybe one of your arms is tighter than the other that happened to me a lot when my throttle arm was tight and kind of uh, pumped up from twisting the throttle I would tend to either tense up and that would throw the bike to one side or it would loosen up and it would throw the bike to the other side so keep um, keep your focus on how much tension you have in your arms and try to hang on from your shoulders and not necessarily uh, from your wrist. All right, you can tell it's starting to get dark here. So um, I'm also starting to get a little bit tired. I'm kind of all over the place here as well. So I'm gonna call it a day and here we start a new day. And this day I bring back two different cameras. So I've got third person uh, point of view here and using a GoPro pointed toward the left and my uh, Canon pointed to the right. So what I really want to get accomplished today is really focus on practicing lifting the wheel and pushing my weight back versus trying to pull up on the bars and making sure that I push my weight back directly over the wheel wheel and not lean from one side to the other on that initial uh, um, up of the front wheel. So I just continue doing that and uh, just focus on making it that much better. And as you can see here, I get lucky a few times and I'm able to ride some out. So right now I'm just trying to practice getting the wheel up straight and throwing my weight back and then trying to build the stabilizer muscles to help me out with some of the side to side uh, balance. But it's been, uh, it's kind of been a long journey to figure out this throttle and figure out how much weight I need to throw back. I'm a big guy on this small bike so it doesn't take much weight throw back and if you're off this a little bit it wants to go over. and then. Braking with the left hand, that's something totally new to me. Um, and no brake lever down here. I'm used to a motorcycle with a clutch and a rear brake lever at the right foot and it just has none of this. So whatever I learned from the mountain bike is kind of opposite because rear brake on the bikes in America is on the right hand side. So now I'm trying to figure out hand-eye coordination for rear brake on the left side 
can't use my foot there's no clutch so there's a lot to figure out so it's probably gonna take me a while it's probably one of the hardest bikes I've tried to learn how to wheelie it's not comfortable yet so I'm just gonna keep grinding at it hopefully I want to try to get less weight back and, and more of a, a standing up straight because that's gonna take less of a strain off of my arms trying to keep myself uh, hanging on the handlebars there so that's the plan Stan so the other thing too that I'll mention is the great thing about these OSIT bikes is they have these uh, controls here for speed power and response when I was first starting to practice I just turned the speed down to about halfway that way if I whiskey throttle it only goes so fast you can wear this protective magnetic switch as well but now I just I've gotten to a point where I feel confident and I've got everything turned up so you can that's something else that you can use to your advantage while you're practicing to kind of help you out those controls are in there for kids and uh, you know they helped me out too when I was practicing so. so here you'll see that uh, I continue to kind of lean more weight one way than the other and a lot of it has to do with the tension that's in my arms from the from the throttle so keep that in mind too that's something that I don't have to work on in the future as well One thing I'm noticing too here as I'm analyzing this video is I'm getting a little bit more confident with the rear brake and not necessarily grabbing a handful of brake but just barely feathering that brake. All right, so far what I'm noticing is just a a small push down and throwing your weight back exactly like almost you um, almost like manual in a mountain bike except when you compress the front fork and you just throw yourself back you really don't need the L position it's just a blip of the throttle and make sure you're covering the rear brake I still am not a hundred percent confident with this otherwise I would just lean all the way back and ride the brake and and uh, and uh, throttle up but one thing I've noticed is, is that I don't think this brake is actually uh, stable enough to stop the bike from going all the way over if I'm like mid to half into this uh, motor. It's pretty torquey. I'm pretty sure it would just flip right back over. So I'm trying to get used to that too as I'm doing this. So keep that in mind. That's another thing. But I'm getting to the point where I got a little bit of, you know, I could go out here and do power wheelies where I speed up and I'll probably get to a point where I'll do that a little bit more just to help with some of the kind of side to side balance but right now I'm just trying to throw it back and not be off kilter one side to the other so I want to just concentrate on throwing my weight straight back and then and then staying leaned into it because if I if I actually bend my arms it's harder to stay up as I just straighten my arms out and just hold on from my shoulders instead of from my my biceps so that's what I'm trying to concentrate on now that and uh, keeping a loose grip tight with the knees loose with the hands to help with some of the the arm pump that you get when you're trying to twist the throttle while you're uh, leaning back you can see some of that confidence shining through here because I, I will tend to ride out a power wheelie now because I understand that I have the neuron pass built that I feel confident when I pull the rear brake that the front wheel will go back down and I'm fast enough to actually do that versus looping over. And as soon as I say I have the confidence to grab that rear brake and feather it, I grab a handful of brakes. So these are the things you're going to have to deal with when you're learning as well. So this is another common occurrence when practicing. First try, you don't go, you don't lean back far enough. 
The second try, you lean back too far and you grab a handful of break. And in the third try, you kind of get it just right. But whatever it may be, take these opportunities to really kind of refine and where you feel like the balance point is and practice those out. Not a bad attempt here, but instead of actually taking a foot off the foot peg, it would be better if I had tried to move my right knee out to kind of counterbalance there. But those are the things you have to deal with in practice. Sometimes you just can't put it all together. So what you see in here is a technique I actually use to help with the arm pump again on my right arm. So uh, I'll loop, relax my throttle hand and I'll take my right leg off and my left arm and then I'll switch those up and that kind of helps with the uh, arm pump. Here you're starting to see I'm getting tired because I got a little case of whiskey throttle there at the end. And I tell you, sometimes it feels like that rear brake is not enough to bring that front wheel down. So it is what it is. It may be time to call it a day. All right. So just a reality check too. Actually gotten worse this week. The first week or the first week and a half that I practiced, I was much better than I am now. Which brings me to a good subject and why a lot of people get discouraged is because when when you progress a lot of times in that second to third week you regress and i think a lot of it has to do with your neurons kind of building those pathways for it to be a muscle memory and i think at this point you've got to you've got to just kind of bite down on it and say hey i'm trying to learn this and whatever it takes i'm going to learn how to do it and just stick with it and then the beauty is is that one day you're going to wake up and it's all going to click and you'll be able to just bring it up and ride it forever i'm looking forward to that day but it's not probably not going to come anytime soon especially with so much rain not being able to practice a lot but the one thing i think i am doing is my body's getting more used to hanging off the back of this bike which in the beginning it was not at all so i get less arm pump i get less uh, fatigue so in that part I'm feeling good, uh, but as far as skills wise, I've definitely regressed some. So a little bit disappointing, but that's typically what happens. So we're gonna stick with it and hopefully uh, some of the video I share in the in the following weeks will be, uh, be me getting a little bit better, hopefully. <laughs> if not, this is gonna be the longest uh, journey to learn a skill in history. Here you can see it. I started out on a good balance point, but I let it go down too far, and then I just kind of power wheelied out. And you know that's okay to do. It's uh, it's certainly I don't want to learn how to power wheelie, but you know what? Just to to kind of get yourself used to having the front wheel up at that speed is is uh, something you need to practice that too. So it all helps. Just when you think you're doing good, you're by doing a little bit of whiskey throttle there. So uh, you got to take the bad with the good and just don't give up. Well, the one thing you can say is practicing sure is repetitive and redundant, but the, hopefully the end results will be that uh, I can kind of master this particular wheelie and move on to some other trial skills but as you can see it's a lot of repetition so you may need to break the practice up and go do something else as well just to keep your keep your mind fresh so you may have noticed that we're also into the next day of practice now so we're back at it again all right so just doing a couple of warm-up runs here still trying to get the uh, coordination with the rear brake the throttle control and the right amount of throwing the weight back what I can tell you is all the stuff that I learned on the mountain bike kind of applies here. So it's kind of compressing the front suspension down and then throwing your weight back and uh, a little bit of throttle. And that usually will get the wheel up. And uh, you can usually get the wheel up without having to go too far uh, as far as distance wise. And that's what you want to, to do a slow balanced wheelie. All right, let's try to do some something. Improving any you decide but remember what I said about uh, Kind of breaking the practice up and keeping your mind fresh Yep. That 
would have been good if I had to kept it. Of that sexy white van in the background. Oh, yeah. So I've got a few good uh, runs in there, but I'm starting to really feel the fatigue at this point. And uh, you know, you really want to kind of end on a positive note, or at least end your training session on a positive note. So I keep with it here in hopes that I don't do something stupid like. Uh, loop out or you know fall over sideways or whatever so let's see what happens here didn't start out good but uh, ended up getting a really good uh, last chance here right before quitting for today and I thought it was a, a good wheelie to actually end the session all right so that was by far the best one that the best wheelie I've done out of the practice for the last two weeks I felt like I had a good balance point and it all kind of comes down to how balanced you are when you first go back I think at least right now where I don't have all the skills necessary to actually follow through with it so I'm gonna stop on that note for now and then we're gonna do a progression and we'll analyze some of the video together in weeks three and four and so hopefully um, I can get consistent like I did on the last uh, wheelie we're gonna wrap it up there for today till next time skill up and ride Band up and go. Oh yeah.